What is going on guys? This is Ben here. So in today's video, we're going to be starting a grand challenge battle and then doing some chest openings, uh, buying some legendaries. It's going to be a good episode. So definitely leave a like if you guys are excited and uh, definitely subscribe if you've not already. If, you, if you're into chest opening videos, you love seeing those. I do a lot of them on the channel, so subscribe if you are new. But we're going to start off right off the bat. I have a probably the best offer that I could receive. The only thing that I think would be better is maybe if I got an Electro Wizard offer. Because the Electro Wizard, Electro Wizard is like such a good card, but I got the Bandit, so we'll take it. Honestly, because I'm scared to run ladder matches with it because it's so low level. That's why I typically only run this in the Grand Challenge. And I will say, this is by far my favorite battle deck like of all time. Like I love the Battle Ram. You guys have seen this on my channel a little bit. There's a different version of this where I actually don't have the Princess in here, where I throw a Fireball in. That's because a lot of people are running this Three Musketeer with the Battle Ram. And this deck immediately just it straight up loses to three musketeer, but has a good matchup versus against pretty much anything else. Uh, so I like running this one. If I wanna, if I feel like I'm gonna go up against three musketeers, I'll take the princess out and put a a fireball in there to take care of those. Uh, but other than that, like I'm really excited to buy all three cards of these bandits because basically we're gonna get this to level three, and it's much more usable when I do it in uh, ladder matches there. So there we go. We're gonna upgrade it right now. Boom! Get that level three. So you can see the damage comes up. I would like to get this to level four so it can even be more usable, but it's gonna take a while to get those to get those up there, really. Uh, so I'm excited for that one. We'll do a legend or a super, we'll do a super magical chest opening video after my first match. Uh, we have a free chest here as well. Let's get it. And we still have a, a lot of days left in the season. I think there's 21, so I'll, I'll trophy push later. I'm not really worrying too much about that. All right, guys, so actually before I get into the first match, I actually did play a match, and I was recording it, but then I disconnected, so I lost my first Grand Challenge challenge. That's why you can see I'll show you. I'm actually on my, my iPhone hotspot, the iPhone coming in clutch, my Ben Tim iPhone. <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, my internet is down. I don't know why, but yeah, so that caused me to lose my first match for the Grand Challenge. Um, and typically what I do, like, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. If I lose like a grand challenge and I, like, say I'm like two or I'm at two wins and I lose, typically I'll, I'll lose it out and just restart. A lot of you are gonna kind of maybe get mad by that statement because you're like, oh, you're just throwing away a hundred gems or whatever. Um, so then like what, what I do is actually save the chest opening, but this one is a rare instance. Uh, I actually gonna throw up the chest opening on the screen for a zero win grand challenge. This was insane. So I wasn't recording my face cam, but I was recording the game, the game capture. <laughs> and you can see that there, I got an Inferno Dragon out of a zero win grand freaking challenge. That is insane. Uh, <laughs> how many of you have actually had a zero win grand challenge legendary? So that's hype. That's already four legendaries in this video. Uh, but now after this first match, I will, I will open a super magical chest after. But keep in mind, yeah, guys, I will be doing a huge grand challenge chest opening from all of my trials over, I don't know, I'm, I'm up to like 20, 20 some already. So yeah, once I get to like, I don't know, 50 or 100, I'll have a big chest opening video for the Grand Challenge chest. Uh, I just gotta stay tuned for those and show you guys my luck with the Grand Challenge. But now uh, I actually kind of, mm, I, I might switch to the fireball here. I'll take, I'll, typically I might, I'll probably take the bandit out. But in this instance, we're gonna take Ah, oh, the princess is so good though. We'll just take the, the princess out just to show you guys the bandit and how it runs. Uh, this is kind of what I run when I really don't want to fare against three musketeers. I know I stated that earlier, but I kind of forgot what I all said. But dude, definitely leave a like for the hype on the zero win grand challenge. It's freaking crazy. Now, I don't recommend it because a lot of the times, like even if I get eight wins, it's very rare to get legendaries from the grand challenge unless you're like in the nine, nine wins and above. The other, you have a good chance from like... I don't know, five, I'd say, but other than that, it was crazy. Did not expect that to happen. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, he did pump up, and sadly, I do not have the the Battle Ram with me, because the Battle Ram is what I want to use to push. Okay, we, we know he has that. There's the log. I guess we can push this way instead. And if he has anything stupid, we'll drop the fireball, okay. Honestly, with, what, with me seeing his battle deck, I'm 100% positive. Well, no, I wouldn't say 100%. I'd say like 95% positive this guy is running three Musketeers. Yep. This is the the kind of like similar the one to the one that I was showing you guys, except for I run an Inferno, Inferno Tower in mine, and like the standard one that everyone copies is one that has like Ice Spirits, um, Skeletons, and instead of like the Inferno Tower, that's where the Ice Spirits comes in, but this is a similar one. So yeah, he's running three Musketeers, and he already almost took my tower. So I'm gonna have to use this fireball very wisely. 
And he's just, I could do it on the Elixir Collector, but then he'll probably drop his three Musketeers, honestly, so... I don't want to do that, to be honest. Here comes the Knight. Will it get there? No. 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 <laughs> this one is not looking good, guys. Oh, my days. As people would say in England. But we did get some skeleton army damage off. The thing is, now we're vulnerable. We're completely wide open for that three musketeers. He's just gonna drop them right in the middle. So this is not looking good for us. If I would have started with my with my battle ram, I think it would have been a better push right off the bat. But we won't leave it down to that. So we're actually gonna fireball here. Boom. We'll log just to get rid of them. Drop the bandit. Okay. I have to drop the Inferno Tower. The reason why the Inferno Tower is in here is because like, a lot of people are running the Lava Hounds. And a lot of people are also running Golem. So, typically, that's what it's for. See what I meant by the Three Musketeers have such an easy drop? This one, guys... I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to be able to win here. This is the one battle deck that I'm scared of, so... Even even with my fireball placement in there, it's not really... You can see it's not even really changing too much. Because we're still getting dominated. And it wasn't even to the three Musketeers I was losing to. It was just the rotation of all, all of his stuff. With the, the Elixir Collector, who's just out-rotating me or whatever, so... Definitely GG to him. Uh... So it's typically what I would do if I wasn't like if I wasn't recording here and nothing drastic happened, um, I would just lose these two matches and then restart the grand challenge. I mean, we could we could try, we could try for another zero win legendary, but I doubt that's possible. I don't even know the chances. Um, you know what? We're just gonna switch to the three musketeers. <laughs> no bandit in this one. I lied. We're taking it out. Uh, this is my version of it. The only change to what a lot, pretty much. The standard battle deck that everyone runs with this is instead of the Inferno Tower, they have the Ice Spirit. It's good. It's, it's good for cycling. Um, I don't know. So, but I like the Inferno Tower just in case you face a Golem or a Lava Hound because otherwise it's very hard to deal with. And then plus for Hog Rider too because that is a thing as well. Um, but I don't really have anything good to drop right now. <laughs> Nothing really to stop a lot of things. <laughs> Okay. He lightning spelled me. All right. Actually, I don't have the Inferno Tower in this one. I changed it up last night. I forgot. I changed the Inferno Tower for the night. And this is actually my first run with this. I don't I don't I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Oh, we're going to lose our tower sadly. They I am assuming this guy has an Inferno Tower. Uh typically they do, but okay. I I'm, I'm fine with that Ice Golem drop, honestly. That was Helped us out a lot because our battle round got to the tower. I, I don't. I honestly don't really know why he he dropped that. To be completely honest, but we should take. I'll just miner here. See if I can keep our. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. At least we're starting the second tower already. Um, he's probably gonna push that hog rider. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if this guy has elixir or not, but I could just drop the three musketeer on his side. You guys can see how deadly the battle deck is. For whatever reason, it's really good in the grand challenges, and that's why I was messing with it. But for the video, I wanted to show you guys the bandit, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. He does have the lightning spell, though, but we did get enough damage or decent damage. Um, There's the hog. I guess we'll just start on the electro wizard. Slow him down. I can... Okay, now that that's out of the way, I can use the battle ram. Battle ram is just a, 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 such a good front, like front run... Frontliner troop, I should say, for those those three musketeers, dude. It's crazy. Sadly, he didn't get there on this push, but our lecture wizard, our lecture wizard, should. Dude, I'm having like an issue pronouncing right now, and I don't pronouncing like card names. I do not know why. <laughs> um, it's like the cat has got my tongue. I'm pretty. We got this in the bag pretty much, unless we a miracle, we get three crown. I'm actually gonna drop these three musketeers. I know he has that lightning spell, guys. I know he does, but we should take him out by that. Okay. Yeah, if he lightning spelled there, if, or if he had enough elixir, that could have been potentially bad. <laughs> Alright, we're getting into match number two with the three musketeers. And honestly, oh, 
I forgot to open the super magical chest. We'll do that at the end of the video. Um, we'll throw down that. I really hope this guy does not have a poison spell because that is a pretty big counter to the three musketeers. Graveyard we can, I think, handle. Or this guy could be running three musketeers as well, honestly. I don't know. It really depends. I'm just gonna drop the miner. Sadly, he, he picked the tower to drop where he dropped the freaking whatever that's called. The Mega Minion. <laughs> we'll start on the Three Musketeers right now. Hopefully he does not have poison. Oh my god. Got the rocket though, of course. Let's throw on the log. Just stop the Mega Minion and those archers with the damage. Stop the bleeding a little bit. Typically people tend to rocket the elixir collectors when you place them. So I'll give this guy props for holding on and just seeing. Because that that saved him. Pretty much stopped my three musketeers, to be honest. But we got a decent push. We'll battle ram here. And and minor, why not? Freaking ice spirit though completely stops me in the track. Battle ram should get there. Let's go. Getting some healthy damage done. And the Mega Minion drops. Hopefully this the knight drops too. Aw. Well, he did die, but I was hoping for the Electro Wizard to get some some damage on the tower, but I'm gonna have to drop these quick and hopefully he doesn't decide to rocket it. <laughs> if he does, uh, I'm gonna get, okay, he decided to rocket the ones on the left. I'm okay with that because we should emphasize should get some tower damage, which we are. We took it down to 669, all right. Some of you will like that. Um, the Goblin Barrel's out, we'll drop the log. I don't have much to stop that dude. Boom, I don't want any damage done. Cause I know it's in a very scary situation right now because he has that rocket. And once you see a rocket, you know like, you really, okay good, we're gonna take that tower anyways. You really know you can't really mess up. Cause they don't have to get that much damage done to your tower before they can kind of like, just kill it. I'm gonna save the log here. Hopefully skeleton army goes down quickly, which it did. Okay. I'll drop this. I'll throw the battle ram over here just because I can. Because I knew it, otherwise it was going to get rocketed. I'm mainly just cycling it at this point. Um, let's push. Oh no. Got our log. We'll take a little bit of damage, but... Got him with that GG. One second. One second. Carl is calling me. Alright. We are back. And we're going to be opening that super magical, magical, magical chest. Let's see if we can get the bandit. <laughs> if we get a bandit here, we have to use it in a ladder match. To see if it, how well it, how well it fares versus other people's. We, we need some, we need a lot of epics here. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll take it. We get the log. You, I'm not used to that yet. Where we get the legendary the second before the end. They flipped it up a little bit. Doesn't even matter what epics, we just get them for the gold, but... So we got the Infernal Dragon from that zero win Grand Challenge chest by luck. We got the three uh, bandits that we bought. Now we got the log. Not a bad day for Clash Royale. And with that, I mean, I want to actually try this in ladder matches. I've only ever run it in tournaments. So we're going to try it just to see, just to see how well this does. Um... Hopefully he doesn't have lightning spell, or actually no, I, lightning spell is fine because I can kind of counter that with these two. No, we're just going to drop him right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See how this goes. Okay, the log. It's fine. And the zap. The log only really hit one of my musketeers. This is where it gets tricky. How do you really want to push? I want to drop my miner on that princess. Okay, my miner was late, but I didn't have enough elixir for it just yet. That's where the that's where the elixir collector does come into play, but we got decent damage done, and now I have to deal with the royal giant. <laughs> oh man. See, like it's it's very weird. You very rarely run into a royal giant in uh in grand challenges, but it seems as though like everyone runs them in the ladder matches, like especially around this trophy range. That, that log was Okay, good. It almost missed the princess. <laughs> oh, so that could have been bad. 
Uh, I kind of have to now that he dropped that Ice Spirit there. We'll drop the Electro Wizard. Boom. Tank a little bit of damage. I just really want this double elixir to hit. Alright. Even the Electro Wizard got a hit. We'll take it. So there's the rocket. That's what I'm saying. Most people... Most people tend to rocket those. Um... So I was... I don't know. Now that I know he has the rocket, I'm just gonna put it in front of my King Tower. So he doesn't get value off the tower like that. But at least he won't rocket the Three Musketeers now. Good, good, good call by him dropping that dirty, dirty freaking Royal Giant. Hashtag nerf the Royal Giant, please. Clash Royale. I was a little late on that once again, but he surrounded me, man. Um, just trying to distract the barbarians as much as I can. Get that over. Get over here. Follow that log. Or follow that batter ram. <laughs> Did it get there? Oh my god, it got there. <laughs> That's good for us. Well, potentially good. If I if I use the force wisely. Okay, he's actually pushing the Oh yeah, he has that rocket. I completely forgot. So this is gonna go come down to a two tower two tower match here. And I still have to get a tower, dude. Throw on that rocket, bro. Throw on that rocket. I dare you. Throw it down. Okay, we got that. We got our tower. He needs to rocket our tower right now. And he just expended a lot of elixir, so... Come on, knight. Get there. Yes. Clutch up right at the end. Oh, yeah. Guys, this says Modern Warfare 3. I wore this in the challenge versus Boot Tramp because it's actually the same day. I don't know when I'm uploading this. Uh, but I would... I wish this actually said Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3 was a great game. But I'd say Modern Warfare 2 I loved so much better, like the, the intervention and everything. It's probably my favorite Call of Duty, um, like f just for fun-wise and the amount of hours that I actually put into that game. Because it was my first Call of Duty, and I think that's the same with everyone, like the first Call of Duty that you play is like your favorite one. I don't know. But actually I was a, my first ever Xbox game was Halo 3. So, I know this isn't an Xbox channel, but for those of you that, for those of you that like those games back in the day, but other than that, Today was crazy. Uh, I cannot believe we got that zero win grand challenge uh, chest. And I've opened a lot of zero wins. I'm kind of spoiling the huge grand challenge video for when I do open the zeros, but I'm excited for that video too because it's pretty it's pretty awesome. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like did and don't subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. And I'll see you guys later.